Hello everyone, welcome. It's the Fly Foot Doctor again. As promised, I said I was going to make another video that really specifically talked more about melanoma and how it affects us and things like that and things that you should definitely watch out for. So if you're new here, it's the Fly Foot Doctor. Please subscribe, hit the like button, share this video if you like it, and let's get into it. So what is melanoma? Melanoma is cancer of the skin that is malignant. So it is not benign and is not something that you should ignore. But specifically in this video, I'm going to be talking about subungual melanoma. And that is malignant cancer that is found in the toenails. So stick with me and I will break it all down for you. So what is subungual melanoma? So subungual melanoma is malignant cancer of the nails. Unlike other melanoma that grows or occurs in the skin surrounding the nails, these occur in the nail matrix, the actual nail matrix, which is part of the nail bed. It protects the underlying skin. The reason that this is very, very important is because sometimes melanoma could appear like anything else. It could look just like a bruise. It could look just like an ingrown toenail. It could look just like a wound or an ulcer. It could look like anything else. But we know how important it is to pay very close attention and to give it adequate attention and treatment because this could really spiral out of control and cause very, very damaging results. So what should you be looking for if you are worried that you may have melanoma? There is usually an acronym that we use in the medical community and it's A-B-C-D-E. A stands for age, typically. The age or the age range at which people see this is within the fifth and the seventh decade. However, this is not all encompassing. That means that there are people that could definitely fall out of that gap. You know, there are people that you could have it younger and there are people that can have it older. Also, some of the things that you can see with A is African Americans or Asians, particularly Japanese. That is something that you want to start thinking may be something other than just a bruise or just a hematoma or just a fungus or just a bacterial infection. You have, you have to start thinking that this could be something other than just um, you know one of these things and could possibly be a melanoma. Now the B stands for black or brown discoloration. So if you see a black or brown discoloration on your toenail that wasn't there before and all of a sudden has appeared and it's greater than three millimeters, there's no history of trauma so you should be worried about a hematoma or anything like that, you should definitely start to think about it. You wanna make sure that that discoloration that is black or brown is not in fact a cancer of your toenail bed. So get it checked out ASAP. The C stands for change or lack of change. And so if you've had this nail discoloration and it's been stable for about one year, two years, three years, five years, and it has not changed, and then all of a sudden you see it starts to change, you see it starts to get bigger, you see it starts to have borders that are irregular, there's just something that's now abnormal or atypical about it, definitely get it checked out. Alternatively, if you have this discoloration and they've tried everything to try to treat it, fungus treatment, bacterial treatment, they've taken, they've taken out the toenail, they've done everything, and yet there is no change in that discoloration, you definitely want to get it checked out and make sure that you rule out subungual melanoma. D stands for the digit involved. A lot of the times, the great toe or the big toe or the thumb or in the hands are usually the ones that will be involved. Also, the second toe sometimes, but again, make sure that you're paying attention to all of your toes. This is not an, an end all be all, it has to be the big toe, and if it's not in the big toe, it's something else, absolutely not. You wanna pay close attention, and it could happen anywhere. As long as you have a nail matrix, you could have subungal melanoma that is very dangerous. And E stands for extension. And so this is a very important one because it really, really just hones in and really draws attention to the fact that this could definitely be subungal melanoma. Extension means when that discoloration on your toenail is extending to the part of your nail 
that touches the skin right here okay so if that discoloration anywhere in your nail is extended further back and it's touching here then you really really are starting to think perhaps it could be melanoma now keep in mind in severe fungus or in a severe bacterial infection the entire nail could also be infected and could reach up to here but with melanoma when you have not just a nail that's discolored and it's coming on to the skin as well we call that Hutchinson sign and that is a sign that is pathognomonic for subungual melanoma. The nail matrix is down here. Remember I said subungual melanoma is a malignant cancer of the nail matrix and so when you see that you definitely should be thinking I need to see a doctor right away. Okay, so that's called Hutchinson sign. It's something that's very pathognomonic for subungual and uh, melanoma and it should definitely be checked out to rule any sort of cancer out. And finally, F is family history. And so if you have a family history of some sort of cancer or some sort of melanoma or some sort of particularly subungual melanoma, you should have a high suspicion that this may be it too because it does run in families. And so if you have any discoloration in your toes, you know, and you're within the age bracket, you've seen the, the, uh, the brown or black discoloration, you've seen no change or you've seen a rapid change and things like that, definitely find a healthcare provider and check it out and make sure that, you know, they do the biopsy and rule out some sort of malignant cancer. Be on the lookout. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. Our number is 832-415-1790. Also, if you have any tips or if you have any other types of videos that you want to see, leave a message down below, leave a comment down below. If you're new to this channel, it's the Fly Foot Doctor, and clearly this is the health segment. So click like, subscribe to our channel, and also share this video for pe with people who may find it very important. Thank you for sticking till the end and have a great day.